if you're getting the impression that I had a real love-hate relationship with my dad, you're, you're absolutely right. I guess everybody on some level loves their dad, no matter how impossible he is or how unlovable he is, basically. And uh, that was certainly true for me. I probably could have made his life a lot happier and easier if, I, if he had ever opened up enough to let me in, but he always kept me at a distance because of the role that he chose to play, which is my moral arbiter and my teacher and, and, and my conscience and, and all of that kind of stuff that, uh, that uh, he practiced. But I did, the, the best moment I ever had with my dad was when I'd been, my wife and I started this opera touring company, Hubbard Opera Touring, and we were touring with the show Fiddler on the Roof. And of course, the part of Tevia was made for me. It was the, the, the most fun part I ever did and the easiest for me to really get into on a deep emotional level. Do you, do you feel like giving a little example? Like, can you sing a verse or two? If I were a rich man, diddle deedle diddle dig a dig a deedle diddle dum All day long I'd biddy biddy bum if I were a wealthy man, oh, but if I were a rich man, diddle deedle diddle dig a dig a deedle diddle dum. If I were a biddy biddy rich, dig a dig a deedle diddle man. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we were doing this, uh, we were touring with this show. And we went to the town of Nanton, which is about, oh, a hundred miles away from Cardston, where my parents lived. And uh, they wanted to see the show, so they drove up there, <coughs> which was quite an adventure for them, you know, because it meant traveling at night to get home and stuff. And my dad came and sat in the front row, right in front of the stage, I, I was aware of him the whole show, and he sat there absolutely entranced, never moved a muscle. He just, he just it looked like he was looking off into eternity the whole time, and uh, he, he clapped, you know, but it, sort of mechanically. He laughed a few times, but basically he was just intently listening, and when the show was over, and we got several standing ovations. Dad came up on the stage and he took me by the hand and he said, you're really doing what you want to do, aren't you? And it, it just absolutely floored me because that was the first, first and last acknowledgement I ever got from him that I had the right to make my own choices and that maybe I had enough sense to make the right choices for myself. So, there you are. <laughs> I guess that kind of sums up my relationship with my dad. The fact that he could appreciate that fact impressed me, you know. And for once, he was willing to, to come up and express a real feeling that he had and abandon the, the role of the, the uh, controller, the perfect example, and all of that kind of stuff. My mom, I had a 